Hey guys, hope you are feeling peachy today. We have got another video for you guys, another Sims 4 video, but something that I've actually never done before, which is kind of feature another creator or kind of celebrate an amazing builder on this channel. So if you're already like in the Sims building community, you're probably gonna know who this creator is, but I was, I first came across them a couple months ago when I saw this incredible build that was like Zelda's Hyrule Castle. So this is built in the Sims 4 by a creator called Sati Sims Builds. I'm gonna leave a link to their um, Twitter in the comments below and also to their YouTube where they do the speed builds as well. I actually did message them ahead of doing this video as well because when I first saw this build, I was like, this is incredible. And I showed Ali it because um, Ali is a big Zelda fan and I couldn't actually quite believe that had been done in the Sims because it's just wild and I like, I could never. <laughs> and I messaged them being like, look, I love this. And then recently I messaged them and said, I would love to be able to um, show off some of your builds and a video, would that be okay? And they were like, oh my gosh, yes, I would love that. So that is what we're gonna be doing in today's video. So we're gonna have it, be having a look at the Hyrule Castle and also some of the most recent builds. And I'll talk a little bit about how these builds are made. And we are gonna tour them. There is a lot of objects here. So we'll see how my PC manages to handle it. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, if you want me to do any more of these kind of build tours, then let me know in the comments below if there's any creators you think should be featured. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see how this video does. And if it seems like you guys enjoy it, then it's something that we can do uh, once a month or once every couple of months. And let's get right into it. So before we look at some of the ridiculously amazing ones, I wanted to show you guys kind of what these builds are all about and why I think they're so incredible. So here we've got like a medieval beverage car. I've seen this on Sati's Twitter as well. And what I really liked is that this looks like it came straight from Fable. And what's really, really clever about these builds is there's actually no CC in here at all. So you could just add it to your game. And I mean, it's a lot of objects, so you might get a bit slow down, but it would all work absolutely perfectly because what's really clever is that these builds are actually made from a load of objects you wouldn't expect all kind of like um sort of placed together to create like something like the chain on this fence or the cover to the car and i love anything like fantasy-esque i just think the aesthetic of this stuff looks really really cool like look at that there's even like a spill of the foam from the beer and there's like a little coat of arms on the barrel it's all really really aesthetic and really really pretty and just incredible imagination so the way that these are done is there's a mod that you guys may have seen me use called Tool. It's by Twisted uh, Mexi and I will link that in the comments below as well. But what Tool lets you do is move objects to like just such an easier degree than you can do in the game. You can also elevate them by like really specific amounts, you know, instead of just using the nine and zero to move up and down when you've got free build on. And you can also do things like rotate them completely. So you can turn objects like upside down or like twist them at really specific angles. So here we go, like 180 and it's now upside down. So yeah, you can just do a lot of really cool stuff with that. I'm actually using an outdated version of the tool mod because I don't use it that much, but I use it occasionally to help me out. Like when I want to have a wedding on the beach, I can move my wedding arch and stuff to the beach using tool. Also, if you watched my, my story series, the way I got Alice to look like she was sleeping in a car is to hide a bed within the truck in Strangerville like town center. And then when she slept in it, it looked like she was sleeping in the back of a car. So, uh, or like a truck. So it's really, really handy for stuff like that and also for building incredible creations like these. So here is like watercolors, insufficient funds, <laughs> I don't think so. So there's like a little watercolor paint set done using the exact same uh, technique. I actually think when you make these bigger, they're like tables, yeah, yeah, look. So it's like a table. <laughs> How crazy is that? And then when you shrink it right down, it looks like it's in like a little paint box set, which I just think is so creative, so cool. Obviously they're not functional in game, but if you just want like some little background, a little bit of background noise going on, make the game feel a little bit more authentic, then I think this stuff's so nice. So, and obviously I know Sati isn't the only person doing this, but it was the um, creator that caught my eye and I've loved everything they've made since. Here is a fortune teller booth. We will get to the big stuff. I'm just like really enjoying. It's the first time I've properly toured a lot of it. So I was saving it for this video. But yeah, there's like the tarot cards. There's even the hands and like a face behind the wall. Just like so incredibly creative and cleverly done. Like incredible. So if you ever were like creating like some kind of magical world and you wanted a bit of set dressing, 
this would look so cool. Another one here is like a little experiments table, which, oh my gosh, I wish I'd have known about all this stuff when I did my um, College of Winterfell build in Realm of Magic because I could have made it look so much cooler by crediting Sati and using a bunch of this stuff just so I had it in my game. It's just so cool. And if you are like a bit of a fantasy nerd like me, then I think you're really gonna enjoy this stuff. Oh my gosh, look at this witch's table. Like a witch's car. Oh my gosh. This would have been great in my mini magic play through. I could have used this on the house and it would have just looked so cool. So yeah, honestly, just so creative, so amazing. And I can't fangirl hard enough, basically. I just think they're so cool. So I was really, really excited to show you guys them. But what I've never done is toured some of the bigger builds. So... I thought we would give that a go today. So if you do check out my link in the description below to Sati's YouTube channel, you will see like the speed build of how all of this is done. I mean, just wow. I was trying to work out where this was to make sure I'm placing it on the right lot. I think it might be where the Villarreal house is, but I'm genuinely not that sure. One, I want to see if my PC can literally even open this because that is a lot of objects. So this is the biggest lot. I'm going to go ahead and have a go at placing it here. I'm most excited for this one because it was the first one I saw that really caught my eye. But honestly, some of the ones since have been like even more amazing. So let's go ahead and give this a go. One thing I will say is that even though the builds are made using the tool mod, you don't need the mod to run the game and other than needing to use build objects cheat and stuff like that like free build mode and bb move objects on you should be able to place this in your game whether you're on pc or console you don't actually need any mods to place any of this stuff all of it is cc free all of it is in-game stuff which again very cool and here we go we're gonna try and place it my game is trying desperately this might be the one thing that causes issues because when instead of just like placing a table with like four chairs around it you're like placing a bunch of cool stuff on that table and it actually ends up being like 40 individual objects that is what makes the game slow down but they're not necessarily made to be played they're more just made as a look what you can do although from what I understand, Hyrule Castle actually has been playtested with the bunk beds and stuff, so I saw that on Twitter. And okay, a four... I don't ha apparently own a pack for four of these. Even though I do have all the packs, but I've been getting this error a lot recently, and oh my gosh, can you see how much slower my game is running already? And this is a powerful PC. I've got like 64 gig of RAM. The Villarreal's outside this just looks so hilarious, by the way. And wow, okay, here is Hyrule Castle. Yeah, I'm getting a massive frame rate drop. I don't know how many individual items are on this build. I don't actually think you can check that. The value is 1.6 million pounds. But yeah, it doesn't tell you how many individual items you're trying to add. But let's try and tour it the best that we can. Come on, PC. I believe in you. You've got this. I wonder if it's going to run a bit faster in build mode. I'm in build mode. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure there's just as much cool stuff inside as there is outside. So let's just zoom by Luna here and have a little nosy inside. Okay, so we go through the doors and then up into the castle. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared my PC is just gonna crash all together. I would caution only checking this build out if you have a high quality PC. Ah, uh, okay, so this gate isn't actually, it, I mean, looks wise, it's the same as it is in the game, but like functionality wise, you'd go to the bit above. But we've got this little cute area here and then waterfalls, which I'm pretty sure. Let me just go to live mode. Oh my gosh, will my game even be able to do live mode? Please don't crash, please don't crash. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh, look at the frames. Look at the frames. There's the waterfalls going. Okay, nice, 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 nice. And then if we go up, another level here. You'd walk around that bit with the waterfalls. I'm not gonna put it on live mode. With the waterfalls running because my PC is actually just screaming for help right now. Sati, how powerful is your PC that you can actually build on this? Because my game would just be like, nah, that's not gonna happen. So like, look, can you see that this is all like individual items just to make the statues? Like, what? I wish Ali was free because uh, he played a lot more Zelda uh, than I ever have done. Oh my gosh, we're trying to go inside, right? <gasps> oh my gosh, look. So I was like, oh, there's nothing there. And then I was like, whoa! Okay, this is just, wow. Wow, 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 wow. How is there like little sparks in the air? I really want to see this in like live mode, but I'm really scared to let my PC see this in live mode as well. Like, look at that. What? This is incredible. Like, oh my gosh, look at that. Just, what? Wow. I'm just like touring this all with the biggest smile on my face, even though my PC is crying. Look at the like rocks strewn across the floor and the sword and everything. Like so much attention to detail. Okay, I'm gonna like 
travel to another bit and check out like another bit. Just like look how much stuff has been- wow. Wow. There is- oh! No freaking way. What? <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. How? How are people this good at building? Like, I just don't get it. Look at this with the little- I knew there was little bunk beds! And apparently these do work as well. So like, there's this little like, bed area here. And apparently it's based on the real- obviously on the real Hyrule Castle from Switch. <gasps> what? This is just so incredibly done. I just- my brain finds like, platforms and stairs so confusing that it just- it, it just wishes it could do this. Like, look at this! <gasps> it's so cozy! Like the cozy energy! And wow. Wow. I'm like enjoying exploring the whole thing. Like, what's behind these doors? Oh! <gasps> what? I feel like I'm playing one of those like super old games that I used to play on like my Windows 95 PC that would run at like 10 frames per second, but they would like go to a scene like this and then you'd like click on stuff and it would be like, read a letter. You'd have to like, collect clues and stuff. <gasps> look at- look at all the notes on the wall. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. This is so cool. This is only the first one! Look- wow! Wow! It's so cool! This makes me really wish I knew a little bit more about Zelda because then I would probably not only just fangirl over the incredibleness, but the Zelda, like, fangirl in me would come out as well. It's one of those things that I just missed. And I don't know why, because on the surface, it's like elves and fantasy. Like, how was I not a Zelda kid? I genuinely don't know. <gasps> I just found a little secret bathroom. It's not a secret, I mean, there's literally a door going to it, but still. And what's through here? <gasps> wow! Look at this with the painting behind. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is so cool. It doesn't feel like I'm playing The Sims at all. Oh, how did I get into here? I don't even know. Whoa. I know there's a really cool kitchen somewhere and I'm trying to find the kitchen, but this is just amazing. Imagine being this talented. I'm sorry again about the frames, guys, but there's not really much I can do. Oh my gosh, look at this. My camera's kind of bugging out here because like I'm trying to like show you guys that there's even like dirt around the like what is that? It's like sand and then it looks like there's like dirt around the broom but when I go to that it like lifts me up and it won't let me like see it. I'm trying to go down here but it's going like horizontally down for some reason and oh my gosh this oven must have taken so long. It's all individual blocks. This is just so crazy. It's so crazy. <gasps> What's this room? Oh, I can't even go down. Let me go down, because look at that. I would literally like set that as like my desktop wall. In fact, you know what? We'll print screen in that bad boy. Yeah, that is just incredible. I'm completely blown away. I have like the biggest grin on my face. <gasps> and the, there's things moving outside. <sighs> oh my gosh, I'm completely... And Italy in love. Like, completely in love. Look at that. It's like so much clutter and plants and scrolls and books and I don't know. It's just, this is my vibe. I can't create it, but somebody else has managed to like create a vibe that I instantly just love so much. Incredible. Wow, 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 wow. And I'm interested to see if they can actually like get into it. Oh, oh, here we go. We're going over the bridge. Let's see if good old, uh, Jacques, 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 Jacques. Uh, let's see if they can manage to get in. I kind of feel like they can't. Look at them go down this big long step. Oh, look at the Sims instantly coming in and ruining everything by tidying the books up. Oh, you're so annoying. You're so annoying. However, they can totally get in and use the whole thing. Which is just mind blowing. Wow. 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 Oh my gosh. What's going on here? Is this like the baths? I w would like to live here, please. If someone can just make me a sim and then I just move here, I think that would just be best for us all. This is just, I mean, I can I say the words crazy and mind blown more times in one video? I don't think I can. I think they can even use these hot springs. Oh my gosh, and look at it being all perfectly usable. 
<laughs> okay, let's go ahead and punish my PC even more. Let's go and check out another of these incredible builds. So the next one I'm going to be checking out is this Fantasy Desert City. I'm going to be placing this in Oasis Springs. And I'm pretty sure this is on the same lot that I built Saffron's house. So that would be here. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at it. Look at it, look at it. Okay, City of Mana. Wow. Um, this one, I actually get a better frame rate with this one. Look, the waterfalls are behaving. Look at this. Just <laughs> look at this. Oh, how is someone able to just like, what? Sati, I feel like someone needs to hire you immediately to start building worlds in video games because this is... My face is just saying it all for this whole thing. Okay, let's let's have a little nosy around. And again, I might the Sims are already just off like exploring, so the whole thing is like usable. But the stairs themselves are like made up of other blocks, but there's still ways to access below. There's like little hidden shisha snug areas. Shisha actually makes me sick, but I really wish it didn't. A little stall to sell things. There is a little cheeky. It's, it's like a a bar, but in like potions and elixirs. I don't know, I'm getting like, it is the city of mana, which makes me think of magic. I'm like, does everything have stuff in it? Okay, some, some of the stuff is more like set dressing vibes, but honestly, I think that's fine and actually makes things run a little better. But then others aren't. So I was like going to this one thinking, oh, this one is like probably the same thing, just like set dressing. Go inside and it's like a little spa massage room. Like. <laughs> Every like part of this is like little hidden, I don't know, like little hidden surprises everywhere. Like why is bubbles streaming out of here? What, and they're coming out the vents. Like what happens when I go in there? This is also giving me big Game of Thrones vibes. Like one of the cities that Daenerys goes in kind of has this feel to it. <gasps> There's like a little bedroom here. <gasps> oh my gosh, another little spa area. Wow. That's probably why the bubbles is flying out. Oh, and like a little, this little like secret hidden oasis area at the top as well. <laughs> I feel like a big kid exploring this. I'm just so amazed. And look at this area here where you can like sit and then like look out at the view. Like, but look, there's just so much attention to detail. Look at this. Wow. <gasps> That's, oh, it's the oven again. Wow. <gasps> and what? That is like, how have you done that? Again, I'm just like amazed and completely in love with what has been created here. I'm like going down all levels to see if there's any little bits I didn't spot. Another little shisha area here. And look at the like underwater pools that look like this from the top. Just, oh my gosh. My builds all look like the biggest trash in the world compared to this, but this is like a just a different level, isn't it? This is just, wow. Okay, let's look at another. So the next one I really wanted to see is the Japanese, a whole Japanese village. Look at this. Now, I don't know what lot this is on um, because I don't really know the Mount Komorebi Park that well. But I guess it's going to be the biggest lot there. So let's go investigate. The biggest lot is this one. So it's probably going to be this. And oh my gosh. This, I, I just want to look at every single one. <laughs> This is the Japanese village, a, pe a quiet and peaceful base game village surrounded by cherry trees. Okay, it's trying. It's trying its very hardest. <gasps> oh, okay. That was the fastest one to load in so far. Well done, game. I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed. And here it is. An entire little Japanese city, uh, village, sorry. Now I feel like this works really well because obviously Japan is very mountainous. So houses do tend to be quite close to each other because it's hard to build on really sheer mountains. And then where the mountains are built on, obviously you're gonna get the houses stacked up like this. So this is very cool. And again, let's go ahead and have a little tour. So there's like a little um, shrine sort of dealio here. Oh, I love the little hugging things on. That's really cute. And then inside this little bit, we've got Oh, now, I don't know whether to say these are like a apothecary book style, but I also know in some Asian countries, this is actually how you bury your dead. So less in a grave in the ground and more in a box that you can go in and visit and put like flowers in front of the box and pictures and stuff. 
that could be kind of what this is. Then I just have the woodworking bench. So maybe not, maybe it's just a bookstore. And then again, there's so many like nice little details everywhere. That's just very, very cool. And look at the sign. Wow. If you can read Japanese, does that sign mean anything? Let me know in the comments. And I feel like this one has a little bit more of a modern take, which is quite cool. Cause obviously a lot of places in Japan do have super old, old buildings, but the, the there's people living in them now clearly. So you'd have like a lot more modern stuff. We've got a little bar here and a little kitchen in here. I am starting to struggle, like the frame rate is struggling a little bit, but I still want to try and explore all the little nooks and crannies. Cause look, there's so many like little hidden bits. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I love it. It kind of gives me the same feeling that I really like when I explore like, obviously I'm gonna go back to Skyrim, but places like Windhelm and Skyrim, there's so many like little hidden bits that you'd only know if you like go around all the backs and explore like a bunch of different areas. And it has that kind of feel to it with all like, the little nooks and crannies, little place to go right and little bookshelf kind of place here with the um, shape tree, bonsai tree kind of vibes. My bonsai just died, very sad. And a little bed here. Oh, hi. And then if we sneak up these little stairs here, it's just like so many little cute rooms. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh, I love this. Heading into again, like a little, a little kind of like, um, it's almost like another little sort of shrine area with more of these like little rooms. I feel like you could live here. There's like beds and kitchens and everything again is super accessible because the Sims are already starting to walk around. I say hey to everyone. <laughs> and then again, I'm just gonna go in live mode so you guys can like, there's a waterfall somewhere, I heard it. Where is that coming down? Oh, it's here. Oh my gosh, what? Oh, it's like um, a Ryukin, Ryukin, Ryukin is it? Oh my gosh, wow. Oh, I'm glad I searched for the water because I completely missed that room. But that's so cool. And look at the view you get out as well. Like woods. Oh, look at this little area too with the chairs in the floor. That's so clever. I don't know if they're usable or not, but wow. I think the whole thing is usable though. So there we go. A Japanese village as well. Okay, there's one last one that caught my eye that I was planning on only doing three, but I just spotted when I was searching for this that, oh my gosh, look at this. This is a medieval village. That looks like Willow Creek. So let me see if I can place this somewhere in Willow Creek. Which lot would be big enough? There's quite a few big lots here. It's probably this one, but I'm getting such strong Fable vibes and I loved the Fable games. So I want to see what this looks like. Wow, I love seeing it from the world view. And by the way, someone in the comments gave me this tip for UI cheats that you can like right hand click this and like make it like sunny which if you're doing stuff like this is so handy. So there, it just gets rid of the clouds. And it's really handy if you're doing stuff like this where you want to like show off a build. So here is the medieval village. <gasps> it's so pretty. Oh, this one runs nice. This one does run pretty nice, which is surprising because they're all individual blocks for the whole of the path. But compared to the others, my game isn't struggling as much with this one. Fair play, fair play. And the sim is off Galavan, and so clearly it all works again. So let's have a little nosy at this because medieval, Medieval like fantasy towns like this are very much my jam. Japanese one was cool, but I like seeing like oldie worldy stuff too. <gasps> but that's a catch register. Oh, is it like, um, I can't tell if it's like an actual medieval world or like a medieval world that you tour. I don't know, like a tourist destination. Either way, it's the same idea, isn't it? Look at the roofs and stuff, it's so clever. Roofs terrify me, I, I just literally couldn't. Yeah, it was the cash register that was like, hmm. But I guess there's no like oldie looking cash registers. Okay, let's head up here. A little place where you can get painted. And what's in here? I'm like a big kid again. <gasps> Ooh, like a little hangout area with like books and oh my gosh, so many pillows. And what have we got over here? Is it like a sweet shop? Oh, look, we saw that from before, don't we? It's like a little like paint slash maybe potion vibes, love. Big old conical flask. And then in here, a little bedroom with a little broom and some little candles. Oh, what's in that blue door? Oh, wow, it's like a little a little room with a pretty view. Oh my gosh, I just want to set off on an adventure from here. After getting a nice night's sleep with the window open and like the curtains blowing in the evening breeze. Yes, I'm getting way too into this. What's up here? Oh, Oh, a little statue in the town set with some little coins on the floor. Oh my gosh, what? Where are you off? You're off in here. 
Or immediately you have to go put the books away. I hate that Sims do that. I absolutely hate that they do that. But we've got like a funky little library. She's off to try and wreck every part of this build. And then up here we've got like another little cart. What's in here? All the neighbors are coming now to come and wreck as well. <gasps> it's like little houses. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. It's so cute. You could definitely set up like a few little families in here and actually play it like it's a little village. And this one runs a lot better. So I feel like you could make it work. Here is like a little bar. Oh, look at the bath. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, it's like a little access point for the servers. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at it upstairs. Wow. Oh my gosh. I... <laughs> I want to explore a medieval town for one day. However, I don't want to live in medieval times. I don't feel like they're the nicest times to live in, you know? Look at this. You definitely didn't have iPhones in medieval times. Look at this. Though. Look at the detail back there. Oh my gosh. Whoa. What's this little secret staircase all about? Another cute little upstairs area. Oh my gosh. Touring these builds just like, it's such your own, own imagination of one, like you want to try and do something like this, but I feel like if I tried, it would just not look anywhere near as amazing as this. And I love the little courtyards and stuff. But like, because it's so imaginative and amazing, it does trigger like your own imagination. The roof color is so pretty. I'm just amazed. Yet again, another incredible build. So. Guys, make sure you please check out the links in the comments below. I'll also leave a link to Sati's Twitter in case you want to go send some love to them over there as well. They also do a lot of like Disney, um, oh my gosh, Avatar, Air Vendor, the Eastern Air Temple. No freaking way. Ah! Uh, they do a lot of like amazing stuff to do with Disney as well. So there's like the Beauty and the Beast Tower and Sleeping Beauty's Castle as well. The one that you guys all would recognize even if you weren't into Disney because that's where the little shoom comes over. So if you guys would like me to tour some more of these, um, please let me know in the comments below or if there's any other creators you guys would like me to tour. Let me know in the comments below. I am just, I 100% recommend you guys check out this gallery and please know that even if you're on console, you don't need mods for this. You just I don't know if you have the ability to type in the move object sheet on console, but if you do, you'll be able to add all this to your game as well. I'm not promising it will run well, but you will have the ability to do it. And yeah, this has just um, been a little bit of a fangirl video, just amazing over like how incredible this build stuff is. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big cheeky thumbs up and I'll see you guys in another one. Bye.